Now, is there any, you know, um, business uh, entity that you would recommend, like a LLC versus a S Corp versus a regular corp um, for just for film production? It depends on on the particular case, okay. right? But in most cases, an LLC, I would say, okay. right? Because in most cases, uh, as independent filmmakers, it's just you and maybe one other partner. You don't, you don't, you don't really want us to set up a corporation because one, a corp corporations require a lot more formalities than than LLCs, uh, even though they're cheaper to form, right? They are more expensive to operate, and you're, you're, you end up with a greater tax liability with a corporation than an LLC. So, you know, if it's two or three people, um, an LLC is the way to go. You can still raise venture capital with an LLC nowadays, right? Mm -hmm. Traditionally, back in the day, uh, venture, capital, venture capitalists would only invest in corporations uh, 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 for, for various reasons, right? Mm -hmm. But that has changed because they have different kind of structures that they can use um, in order to protect some of uh, the venture capitalists who, who may be um, 501c3 corporations. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and, and that was one of the reasons why you, you had to be a corporation in order to get venture capital funds, but not, that's not a requirement anymore. Okay. But at this stage, you're not even thinking about that because venture capital is not going to, a venture capital fund is not going to invest, you know, in a five hundred thousand dollar film, mm -hmm. right? That's the other one of the things that an entertainment lawyer will tell you when you're just starting out with your idea for a five hundred thousand dollar film, and and you have part of your your um, finance plan is to raise venture capital funds. Okay. It's not going to happen. Can you talk a little bit about the pre-sale agreements? So, pre, so pre-sale means, pre-sale really is a distribution agreement, but it, it means that someone is agreeing to buy your film before you make it, so that's why pre-sale. And, um, and if you're lucky, you could get an advance, meaning you'd get some money up front, uh, which you can then go use to make the film uh, or part of it. But in most cases, you don't get any money up front. You just, you just get a piece of paper. Oh? You get a, well, it's, it's, it's a contract, right? But it's a piece of paper, and then you can take that piece of paper and go you know, to a lender um, uh, for a production loan using the piece of paper as collateral if your distributor is someone the lender trusts, mm -hmm. right? So what if uh, uh, those pre-sale agreements are maybe foreign, you know, from foreign. Right. And so is there some type of, um, when you talk about somebody that they trust and the fact that it's a foreign company, how does, the, how does that kind of work together? Right. So, uh, you know, a lot of foreign uh, distributors have a, have a reputation, a good reputation. Um, they have distributed lots of films before. Um, they have probably done business with the with your financial institution or your um, uh, production loan lender before. So this is not like I'm going into my Bank of America branch, or is it? Yeah, I mean, you will take your your pre-sale agreement to your Bank of America branch, mm -hmm. but if, you're, if you have a pre-sale agreement from some obscure distribution, online distribution company that nobody knows about, mm -hmm. who are these people? Then, when you take your piece of paper to your your uh, branch, your business manager, he's going to laugh at you because you're not because 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 that that's not a good enough collateral for them uh, to give you a loan. The other thing you have to re understand too, when you're putting together your your finance plan and using pre-sale as part of your finance plan, is that if let's say your budget is three million. You're not going to get your pre-sale amount is going to be about eighty percent of that, mm -hmm. because um, uh, uh, the distributor is is not going to uh, give you is not going to purchase your film for one hundred percent of what you say is the budget. They're going to give you about eighty percent, and then the bank is only going to give you about eighty percent of that, mm -hmm. right? Because they're also lending you the interest. But then right? you could also. Just make the film for less. 
after you get the pre-sale. Yeah. You, you could. Mm -hmm. You could. Um, is this a moment where we should turn off the camera? <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep the camera running. I'm just. No, I'm just thinking about your your question. Yes. Yeah, when she said that you can make it cheaper, but doesn't that sound like you're getting slick with what you're what you're asking for and what you're utilizing? Well, I mean, it dep not necessarily, because 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 the because the dis. The, it depends on your distribution agreement. You know, uh, it's hard to answer that without knowing what the distribution agreement says. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, uh, dis distribution agreements require you to use a certain actor, uh, maybe to finish on a certain budget. I mean, I don't know what the details would be in your particular agreement, but you, if 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 you make it for less and you're not breaching your agreement, then you're fine. Mm -hmm. If you're making it for less and you're in breaching breach of your contract, then that's not fine. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, uh, a lot of times, filmmakers will will refuse uh, financing because of because of the conditions that are attached. You know, uh, if if this is something you want to make yourself, you don't want to give it up. You don't want some some other Joe coming to direct your movie. And if the financier says, well, you know, I want uh, Jason Bloom to direct, and you're like, well, no, he doesn't really understand, he's going to mess it up, then you can say, well, no, I'm not going to take your money. But if someone's giving you money, then, you know, uh, they, they will have strings attached to it, and you're going to then have to decide whether or not it's worth um, uh, making those concessions in order to get the film made or not.